Okay. Is there a study on simulation model that helps the learning of decision makers uh, with a rigorous study design, uh, ED random group assignments, well-defined learning metrics? I've only seen studies in controlled academic settings, for example, on students, not the real business context. If yes, is there an underlying theory, for example, constructivism that supports better learning outcomes of simulation? So this is a great question. Um, and uh, I think actually I'm going to see if you end, um, any any uh, you had to fill in any gaps in my understanding if, if you had if you could raise your hand here just so people see you this is you had Chen, um one of the most senior of my doctoral students and someone who has uh who lies behind uh many of the models that have most informed policymakers and uh, choice of decisions within our province when it comes to areas such as e weight space flow um and uh hospital design, cross-functional planning, and uh, more recently with COVID-19 for shaping um, uh, uh, decision-making involving capacity and meeting service demands um, uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so uh, Yvonne is in the later stages of her doctoral work, uh, which involved uh, looking at uh, the ways in which hybrid simulation and modeling, including participatory processes, most centrally uh, inform decision making, um, and uh, and has as part of that conducted a review of the literature on related uh, uh, related literature. So to answer Jun Chao's uh, question on. Um, about um, is there a simulation model? Um, is there a study on simulation modeling that looks in a in a context of actual decision making um, with with rigorous, uh, say, controlled study design with random group assignment, well defined learning metrics, um, rather than in a kind of smaller laboratory setting with you know uh, undergrads or or students, et cetera. I am not aware of, of a study like that, uh, but I, I want to ask you, Ben, because th there is a literature on studies involving, you know, outcomes of, 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 of modeling projects, some in embedded context. You, Ben, are you, are you aware of anything like this that seeks to kind of have a controlled design for how does modeling change or improve decision making among actual decision makers? Um, I think I'm not aware of say combination with randomized uh, control type of cell, but maybe they were conducting they they they, they do have more uh, quali uh, qualitative methods. To control the process to make sure the process is ready by so you follow a few rules Yes. Uh, what I did see recently is that often for a modeling project shaped the decision making end up with a policy being implemented. Yep. Outcomes and evaluation of that policy. Right. I suspect that you know right. Uh, Evaluation of the program after the implementation potentially could be added to kind of model improvement if you maybe as a way to provide some evidence in terms of what the model project right by the time the global system Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Those are those are really good comments. And I recognize that uh for our online participants, were you able to pick up uh that or would you like me to sort of um comment on on uh you know to 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 help uh instead restate what you had said okay yeah so um what you had commented is that um uh, she's not aware of any studies that specifically used uh, randomized uh, designs for example to look at how decision making behavior for actual you know decision makers in a health context uh, changed in response to modeling in a in a scientifically rigorous way, um, but uh, sh she is aware certainly of of some cognate literature. So uh, number one, um, studies that look at engagement in group model building and how um, 
that may uh, affect, um, um, you know, use of rigorous processes there and how that may affect uh, uh, outcome or, or success uh, from that group model building. She also noted that there are studies which certainly look at how uh, aspects of simulation model engagement, um, uh, how, how it leads to certain outcomes, um, which can be evaluated in terms of effectiveness um, of those outcomes, um, not in a randomized uh, uh, context, but in the context of um, of sort of uh, how effective were were the simulation related uh, 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 you know uh, in, in forming of decision making in achieving successful outcomes. And she said there's a, a relevant linear literature there, but neither Yuan nor I are aware specifically of randomized design that would be uh, a gold standard um, in context for achieving um, some argument about causal attribution of the impact of of modeling. That being said, I, I do just wanna, and, and I'm not gonna expand on this here, I can do so and it likely will do so in one of our morning sessions for discussion. Um, from a system science standpoint, I will say randomized designs, um, uh, randomized controlled efforts uh, have some um, imp great importance, but from a system science perspective, they are not privileged at the top, as it were, of a, some pyramid of evidence. Um, that is uh, uh, that is impeccable and places them uh, above all other sources of insight. Um, uh, randomized controlled designs, uh, while they have may have great internal validity, um, they may lack um, uh, effectiveness in 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 fact uh, anticipating many systems effect that are in place in implementation. So the very act of controlling for certain factors um, uh, in the randomized design will often undercut uh, an understanding of systems effects such as uh, effects of uh, shared uh, understanding, um, uh, spread of ideas and information among groups, um, uh, changes in uh, adherence or involvement by parties that um, uh, th that are controlled for in the randomized study design. There's many other factors like that, that a randomized study design by very controlling of it will hide certain key systems effects that may be very important in the ecological implementation of these effects. And I would argue that in a decision-making context, many of those systems factors are also relevant uh, in an ecological context for mediating whether modeling in decision-making teams is likely to be successful or a failure rates. In short, the use of modeling itself, the very process of employing the modeling um, uh, takes place in a complex systems process and attempts to randomize, randomly control factors can be useful for scientific evidence uh, at a certain level but may undercut our ability to appreciate some of the overwhelming impacts that happen empirically and, and ecologically in, in real world situations that mediate outcomes uh, from, from real world modeling projects. And uh, I don't have time to expand on those thoughts right now, but I'd be glad to do so in coming days. Thank you. Um, okay, we will break now. Um, thank you for your patience and attention and we'll reconvene in 10 minutes.